Hello, nice to have you here again. If you have not subscribed to our channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and do as much as you can to set up the not notification bell so that whenever I post new videos, you get notified first. And today I'll be talking about the Canadian visit visa, which is you know, which is virtually everywhere today. You hear about visit visa, you can convert it to work permit and all that. Today I'll be setting the record straight. Now, the first question is: is it possible to change your Canadian visit visa to work permit? The answer is yes. What is the possibility of having this done? I will tell you, it is very, very low. What are the chances that you will be able to convert your visa visa to work permit? The chances are very slim. In fact, it's on record. Let's assume those who came to Canada with the desire to change their, work visa, their visiting visa to work permit, like a thousand people, only just maybe about 200 will have the opportunity to get uh, uh, LMI and all that. And then even after submitting these things, the guarantee that you have your visit visa, sorry, to convert it to work permit, is still slim. And the thousand people who had the desire and have, have been initial, those who eventually get it may not be more than 50 or 100 at most. So the chances are very slim. There are, there are jobs where it is possible and you need to learn the ropes, understand how it works. It is not all jobs that it will work. So look at the, the career path you are interested in and then there you will know if it is possible or not. For example, you are very experienced in IT, you are a programmer, you are a graphic designer, you are very good in, uh, you are very good in uh, maybe information security and stuff like that. Those, you know, you are among the best hands in those areas. This may be possible for those category of persons. Another areas where you can easily change your work permit, your visitor visa to work permit, is if you get into the country, for example, in your native country, you learn truck driving or equipment operator, operator, operator like uh, your construction equipment. Okay, I'll flash some by the screen so that you know the kind of equipment I'm talking about. You have learned how to operate this equipment. This is what is it? It is possible for you to easily get a job in those areas. And then based on that, you can convert your visitor visa to work permit. If you're a truck driver, you're very experienced in truck driving in your native country and you also have the license in your native country you come over to canada with that license don't forget you have experience of course in canada you will not just get a job because you said you have experience you also have to pass through their training and when you go through their training uh, the training school let me use the word truck driving train truck driving uh, training school for example you know because you already have the skills within a month you would have passed your exam you at most two months because you already have the skills but if you do not have the skills beforehand you have to start from the scratch and starting from the scratch not just written skill you also need to prove that you can do these things you know technically and it takes time to get licensed but if you already have your licenses you already have the skills you're already good at it you'll be able to demonstrate to everybody that you're good at it and you just only need to pass the written the writing exam and then the, the practical skill, you will easily be able to demonstrate that. But if you do not have the practical skill, it will take a whole long time to get licensed. And if you do not have license, you cannot get a job. I'm talking of Canadian license. Your native country licensing is not enough. You will need to get a Canadian licensing before you can get a job in that field. And if you do not have that, it's impossible. So making adequate preparation before you jump into the plane is important. That's one. Number two. When you land as a visitor, where will you stay? In Canada, it's absolutely impossible for you to get a house to rent based on visitor's visa. You cannot rent an accommodation. So that's another area you need to fine tune before you jump into the plane. Having a visa is good, but before you jump into the plane, be sure where you will stay. If you are going to stay in a hotel, just know that an average cost of staying in a hotel will set you back at least $100. A hundred Canadian dollars by the number of days you are going to spend to struggle through, get a licensing, get a job, convert your visitor visa to work permit, could take you between, let me tell the modest and say between four to eight months to a year. The question is, do you have the funds to stay in a hotel for this period? So you must be sure where you will stay. You have a friend, you have a relation you can stay with, set out this area and be ready to stay with them for that long. Which also means you must be ready to split bills because when you are staying with them, you are not working during this period. Have that at the back of your mind. Don't deceive yourself and say, when I just get it within two months, I get a job and then. No, 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 no. Otherwise, you will be disappointed. 
have enough funds to split bills. If you are living with your relations, at least you'll be able to contribute to uh, your living cost right there while living with him and trying to settle yourself, which means you should have good amount of funds. At least have, if you're living, if you're going to be staying with your relation, you should be having at least a thousand dollars, Canadian dollars, uh, by let me say eight months. So minimum, you should be with you, cold cash, at least four thousand dollars for your living expenses. Even if you have somebody to stay with, have that. And then for your trading program, try and find out the cost. Also have that money with you. So frankly speaking, if you have a, if you have ten thousand dollars, maybe you're good to go. If you have more than that, great. Or sort out these areas so that you don't go there to constitute nuisance to yourself and to your friends who decide to provide you with uh, soft landing. If you want to stay in the hotel, you can calculate the cost. A month is thirty days, and that's about three thousand dollars per month. Three thousand dollars per month on the average, and then you can multiply that by the number of months. If you'll be staying for about six months, you'll need three times. So it's eighteen thousand dollars for your living expenses alone. That does not include the cost of converting your visa to work permit, flat pooling, and all the other stuff. These things are possible, but discuss with whoever is your agent that is helping you process this document so that you don't get yourself in trouble. Many agents will take money from you when you have landed, that's your problem. So think very well. If you need your visitor's visa, you can always contact us. We can help guide you on how to procure that. It's not that difficult, just some basic things. But we need to discuss with you to understand what your requirements, what your desires really are, so that you don't go to a door you know, to Canada and start regretting. It is possible to get these things done, but there are twists and turns. And these twists and turns must be settled before you jump into the play. Thank you very much. God bless you.